Buenos dias. I'm on my morning walk with baby Eve Eve and Strid. Micah's still sleeping and it's a rainy morning. I have an umbrella in case it rains. And today I'm going to be doing my shoulder workout. Today's Thursday, so today's actually shoulder day. And uh, for shoulder workout, I'm going to just stick to the, the barbell shoulder day, which is basically the barbell is only the, the overhead press. And then everything else is going to be dumbbells. This is a quick workout. You can get your shoulders done in 10, 15 minutes. Super quick. And I keep saying that's the best benefit of once it's a failure is you can get some workouts done in 10, 15 minutes. Uh, worst case, the longest ones are like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. If you take a lot of breaks and have lots of distractions. Um, and, and that's all you really need. You need to take your muscles to failure and let them recover. And I think that's the problem most people have is they don't take their muscles to failure. And then the other problem is they don't let their muscles recover. And so they never get stronger or bigger when they're bulking. And then also the other the other issue is there's a lot of lot of pieces to the puzzle. Also the diet's a big a big piece, cutting and bulking. And if you need help with any of those pieces to the puzzle of your uh, workout, if you feel like you're stuck, you don't know what you're doing, contact me. I'll help you out. I'll uh, have my contact information down below. And enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. Like and subscribe if not a little bitch. And come back tomorrow for leg day. Bye bye, Eve Eve. And the first thing I do on shoulder day is I do a warm up. I'm gonna do a warm up with a handstand. And I'm gonna do the handstand for at least a minute, for as long as I can, up against the wall over here. And I'll be right back with that. Okay, I'm gonna set a timer for a minute 20 seconds. When I get to like a minute 10, I'm gonna start climbing up. And just to give me a and that is an hour. Not a okay, this is a minute ten. When I start climbing up, and I'm sit for longer than a minute. And the official timer is going to be down below. So that was however long it says down, down below, and that's a good warm up. And I got out of it before it got dangerous. And I want to progress to doing that free, free, free standing, although leaning against the wall. And it's starting to feel a lot more comfortable, even with the lower body, especially with the lower body weight. And onto the shoulder press, overhead press. And the next exercise, like I said, is the overhead shoulder press using the barbell. And usually they switch exercises every week. But this week and last week have been chaos. We're in Canada on Saturday. So I'm just gonna do the one that I like the best, which is overhead press, just to get, get through this workout. And while cutting, it's kind of it's kind of shitty, losing strength. And it's not as exciting, but you still gotta do it no matter what, because uh, if you don't work out while cutting, you're probably gonna lose more strength and more muscle than you ideally would, would want to. And let's see how many Overhead presses I can do. I believe, I believe last time I did eight, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure what it says on there is correct on the heavy app.
Get eight and a half. Try to push your nine, but I need a little bit more, more oomph in my, in my push. That feels good. And the rest of the work is going to be done with dumbbells. And on to the dumbbell side raises. And the next exercise is side raises. And last week I did 20 times. Let's see if I can beat that this week. I've, uh, I feel like I've um, had more carbs this week. So I refilled my glyco glycogen stores. And it should be a little bit stronger. So I'm going to get at least seven. And I had eight, so I got two more than last week. And whenever I can, I try to push for 10 seconds on the last rep. Makes all the difference. One set to failure is all you need. And move on to the next exercise, front raises. Shoulder raises nice and quick, so don't fuck around. And you can see how ripped I am. And if we get this ripped, contact me, I'll help you out. Next exercise is the front raises. And we use 20 pounds again. Last week, I got seven. Let's see if I can get eight this week. Same thing again, push for 10 seconds on the last rep. I got, the, got eight, more, one more than last week, and I do feel stronger. And the key is a balanced diet. Don't go low carb. It, uh, it makes you lose weight faster, but you gain it right back as soon as you eat some carbs. And on to the last exercise. Shoulder raise almost done. And the last exercise finishes off nice and quick. Get home. Faster than it'll take you to get to your car. Get off the driveway if you get ready at home. And the uh, last exercise reverse delt flies. Team, even though some of them are not full reps and then drop 10 pounds and just try like this and you see why I do like this there's only one I do drop fit on now just to finish everything off That's it, 10 reps on the drop set. Shoulder day is done. Like and subscribe, Nello Bitch. Thank you for watching and supporting me. 
And if you're looking for coaching, some help, have any questions, please contact me, all my information down below, and have a great day.